Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. We are going to be doing day 15 of the daily scripture writing, which is Ruth 2, 17 through 19. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That would be greatly appreciated. So with that being said, I already went ahead and put some stickers down. We were... We did this together, and I set up, oh my gosh, my book fell. I set up just the washi, and I wanted to try it like this instead of, I don't know if you can see the washi here and then the washi there, instead of one here and one there, or one here and one here. Try something different. So, yeah, let's begin reading the Bible. And if you're curious, it's the NIV Holy Bible. I tabbed it out a long time ago and love it. The tabs do tend to, like, if it's heavy, tend to, like, push in the page. So what I did, you know, so it stopped doing that, is just put clear tape. And it may look, you know, crazy on my part, but it still is working because my tabs are sticking out again. And let's begin. So we're going to do 217 through 19, which is going to carry us to the top of that page. It says, so Ruth gleaned in the field until evening. Then she thrush, thrushed the barley she had gathered. And it amounted to about an emph, E-P-H-A-H. She carried it back to town and her mother-in-law saw how much she had gathered. Ruth also brought out and gave her what she had left over after she had eaten enough. Her mother-in-law asked her, Where did you glean today? Where did you work? Blessed be the man who took notice on you. Then Ruth told her mother-in-law about the one at whose place she had been working. The name of the man I worked with today is Boyce, she said. Okay, so how's everybody doing and how's your scripture reading going? I'm excited to see what part is going to happen in verse 20. Like, this book was really, to tell you the truth, I was really, in, you know, interested in the book of Ruth. I didn't know I was going to be. Like, when you start reading the Bible, you're like, all these words... So you try to get as much in as you can to understand it as I'm doing it like this. Um, but it's like, this one really sticks out to me. You know, I'm glad we, uh, we're doing this one this month. This is really an interesting story. How's everybody doing? How was your day? I literally took off today because I was sick in the morning. I feel better now, so I'll be able, hopefully, to work. Because where I work, I work at a restaurant, and you cannot be sick. You have to have at least, I think, 24 hours of any symptoms, and... Tomorrow morning will be 24 hours, so hopefully they let me just punch in, whatever. But, I mean, I can't help when you get sick, you know. I know people count on you, and they give you hours, because they know you're going to come into work, but there's not much you could do about it. Right now, people are so, so sick, and they're dying over... A pandemic, you know, the COVID, and it's sad. So, me with the little flu is not much. I think I would take the flu any day over having COVID. Because you honestly don't know what to expect. You know what to expect with the flu. Your body's going to hurt. You're going to ache. I mean, you can pass from it. But, 
and there's not really a but, but and what I'm saying is, you know you're going to have body aches, you know you're going to be probably, you know, vomiting and all that crazy crap that comes with it. I would take that any day, considering you don't even know what this can do to you. It is so new, and the stories you hear about it, oh my god. People's teeth hurting. Now, I'm one, I can't take teeth pain. I think I'm going to have to change this pen. Hopefully I get through the whole month with this pen so I don't have to worry about it. But it's looking like it's skipping a lot. Oh, sorry. I don't even know how far it is now. Let's check real quick. No, it's got plenty. I had to check my pen to make sure I had ink. Because I feel like it's skipping so much. It could be the paper too, you know. It's really good quality paper. See, so I have to go back and put a letter. But that's okay. That's my, the least of my worries. I was going through my stash today and I'm trying to gather a lot of stuff to do giveaways and to de-stash, things like that. Again, this pen. And um, came across a lot of Happy Planner stuff and I'm like, I'm trying to not use, not just a Happy Planner, like, you know, trying to use a lot because we don't have plans right now. And a lot of my books are going to be focused on faith. And I'm like looking at it. I'm like, what am I going to do with all this stuff? So I did make another notebook and I will show it. I'm going to do a sneak peek right now for it so you can see it. But um, I'm like, what else? What else can you do with 20 planners? Like, I honestly have a lot of planners. And I don't even think I was utilizing every single one, even though they were dated. And then I go and date some. I'm like, why did I just do that? But nobody would think this has happened, you know. You don't think you're going to have this pandemic going on. See, this pen is like skipping so bad and I don't really want to change it at the moment. I don't know why it's doing that. This is why I love sticking with black pens. Because no matter what, you can find a black pen. It's going to be hard to find this color blue. Look at that. I will, before I end this video, show you what I've been working on. Um, and it's basically just moving some stuff into, you know, something else that has a cover. And I think that's another thing with me. Is when I am working on one planner, one journal, one whatever, I get bored very easily with it. And I want to change something up. And I think if you change the cover, it's like you've changed the whole thing. Because it makes a big difference. So I think, I, you know, I did that today. Let's see if that works. Um, yeah, so I'll show you what I mean as soon as I get done writing. And shutting up because I could talk. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I could just talk. I like the fact she's like, who took notice on you? Like, that is so funny. Like, who took notice on you? God put it in someone's heart. That's what it is. 
Oh my gosh, this pen. I might have to change it on the next. It happens a lot with this mother-in-law thing. And I hate to change it in the middle of my scripture writing. But I guess it wouldn't be too bad if I start the next page in black. I... I'm one of these people that have to have it consistent. I have to have it my way, but... As you can see, the pen is not really cooperating. What's going to be weird is when I turn the page, it's going to start off blue here, and then I turn the page and it's black. <laughs> but that's okay. There's bigger things in this world to worry about than the uh, color of the ink. Are you used the same way, or do you not care, like, what color? And that's how I should be, like, I don't care what color I do. But we're going to do it. Because that pen is like literally driving me insane. Okay, so it says a man, the man I worked with today is Boyce. So the pen I did pick up right now is the Sarasa Dry X X20 0.5. Now this pen I really, really like it is another gel pen, and this one was the Pentel Gel 0.7, so I really do like this kind of pen anyway. Um, wait, oh my gosh, where did it skip? Okay. I feel like I get a better writing too with this pen. It don't mean I'll throw this pen away, it just means it's it's not ready for me. So that's it for today. Let's stay with scripture writing. So I am gonna close it off with enjoy today. Because that's what exactly we need. So that's that. And then I'm going to grab this cute little pink one. Which I don't know what's in the background, but it's still cute. And I think it'll like go really nice here and this was which one day 15 so let's go to the index or not the index the um write the word Ruth day 15 is done so I'm gonna use this to do this at least there we go and then it writes oh my gosh so now we're gonna do day 16, Ruth 220 through 23. This is where I really wanna know what happened. 220 through 23, and that is April, what did I say? 16th. It does stand out better though, I will say. Black ink does really stand out. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. Look at how satisfying that is when you can see pen to paper, you scripture write, you read the Bible, and you got to discuss a little bit of it and talk about your life. So thank you for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.